Hello, Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the Edifier S3000 Pro speakers, but before that make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up at the end if you've enjoyed it. We're active on our socials at Technovo across all platforms and we've also started a little podcast. It's called Technovo Talks, we talk tech, gaming, general chit chat, we're five episodes in so go check that out on iTunes or Spotify now. Right, let's take a look at these speakers. The Edifier S3000 Pro were announced back at CES 2019. They have been on the market for several months now and retail for a cool £589 here in the UK. First impressions when receiving the delivery were good because the box was significantly heavier than most speaker boxes I pick up. Rip away the cardboard and polystyrene and I'm greeted by two rather large speakers protected and sealed from the outside world in a black cloth bag. Pull the bag away and two beautifully elegant speakers appear. Each speaker has a luxurious dark wood panelling to both sides with the remaining sections covered in a matte black finish and the two complement each other very well. There are sleek curves in the wood panelling, rounded edges to the top and bottom of the speaker and with the optional removable mesh covers it offers a classic yet modern design that I feel would fit in most current decors. Each speaker sits on four brushed metal legs each has a large base port to the rear and the right speaker, as the master, has a small indicator section to the front. The worst part for me is that high res logo that is stamped on the front. That being said, the attention to detail and build quality is the best I've seen from the brand yet. I actually saw these speakers sitting on some matching stands at CES this year and it made them look even better. Also in the box are the associated power cables as both speakers require their own power supply, a remote control and an array of cables for hardwired connections. Although the remote control feels a little bit plasticky to touch, it looks okay and it's functional, offering input options, track and volume control, plus control over selection of four pre-built EQ settings. The S3000 Pros are certified high res, which is somewhat of a loose statement as it's not overly well recognised in the industry, but Edifier are saying these speakers offer a better response at a wider range of frequencies. Each speaker is equipped with a 6.5 inch aluminium alloy driver and a plein air tweeter with 120 watts pumped into the driver and 8 watts pumped into each tweeter. These speakers include Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity with Qualcomm aptX HD decoding, which offers increased range, speed and quality. There is also a XMOS X Core 200 interface, which supports USB audio bitrate up to 195 kHz for those using these as studio monitors. These are in fact wireless speakers. There is no physical link between the two and they come paired straight out of the factory. If for whatever reason they are not paired, it's detailed what to do on the back of the left speaker to get them paired again. Although both powered, the right speaker is the master and the left its slave. On the back of the master speaker are the inputs and some controls. These include RCA lining, USB, optical and coax. There are also three knobs which can be used for volume control, input selection, treble and bass. With the number of inputs plus Bluetooth connectivity, there are plenty of options on where and what content you want to play through these speakers. We're talking smartphones, computers, TVs, record players, you name it, you can plug it in. As for performance, I was very pleasantly surprised and knew before I even got into adjusting the settings, volume or selected a decent song, they would be good from just the low level volume music from the track I last played on Spotify. Straight out of the box the sound profile is well balanced with piercing highs and punchy lows. Specific musical notes were well defined, vocals were crisp and the table rumbled when something a little heavier came on. You can control the treble and bass via the rotary knobs at the rear of the right speaker to suit your mood but be warned, push that bass too high and the low end does begin to get muffled at the higher volumes. 
If that isn't enough, there are also four preset EQs available via the remote control, and they include monitor, dynamic, classic, and vocal. I went through them all several times with several different tracks, and the changes in EQ is subtle, but you can hear it, and it can make a difference depending on what you are listening to. I had a lot of fun with the S3000 Pros. I was hugely impressed with their performance, and they are a worthy product to take the flagship title for the brand. They are not perfect. I'm sure if you sat them down next to a pair of speakers, similar in size and spec, like the Kef LSX, a true audiophile may pick up on those imperfections, but those Kef speakers cost nearly double the price of these. All things considered, it's a five out of five from me. That is a wrap on this video of the S3000 Pro speakers. Let us know in the comments below what you think about the speakers. Have you got a pair? Will we get some? Don't forget to give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our tech and gaming videos.